What's up, everyone? Welcome back. In this episode, we're doing the Kansas City Chiefs, their season review, uh, some things they did right, some things they can fix this offseason, and then we'll compare my ratings changes to those of uh, EA's roster. Uh, so this team had a good season, finished uh, one of the last eight teams, and it's a team that I think is just a few moves away from really being a Super Bowl contender. So we're going to start here and look at the quarterback, Alex Smith. Uh, a lot of Chiefs fans kind of want to move on from him, but I think you can win a Super Bowl with Alex Smith. I think he's at the top of the game manager type. Uh, definitely isn't going to lead an elite offense into the Super Bowl, but I definitely think solid. I did move him down, uh, I believe, four overall. Nick Foles, I also moved down. Uh, was never a fan of his and couldn't really capitalize on his opportunity in the preseason competing with Alex Smith. Uh, moving on to the running backs, Jamal Charles, I moved down uh, about four overall. He's on the other side of 30 now. He's probably going to be on to a new team next year, uh, coming off uh, his second or third serious injury. So just the athleticism traits moved down a little bit, and we're just going to have to wait and see if he's still got it next year. Uh, and then Spencer Ware, I'm a fan of. I think he's got uh, all the traits you want in a running back. Really explosive, powerful, can catch the ball out of the backfield. Pretty good vision. Uh, so I think he'll probably be the starter going into next year unless they were able to acquire uh, a really elite guy. Sharkander Quest moves down just a tiny bit. Not a huge fan of his. Uh, and then on to uh, the fullbacks. Anthony Sherman goes up. Uh, he was dropped really low. He's had some good years with the Chiefs. Receivers... Uh, not a ton of movement here. Tyreek Hill, I did make faster. He, he ran a 4-2-3, I believe, which should make him the fastest player in Madden. So he goes up in terms of uh, speed, but his overall stays the same. Chris Conley, I moved down just a tiny bit. Hasn't really developed too much. Um, a lot of that is the rhythm of the offense, but uh, a lot of expectations for Chris Conley hasn't really reached those yet. Uh, tight ends, not a ton of movement. Um, and then this offensive line I want to hit on. I didn't really change uh, these guys, but I think this is going to be the number one point of emphasis for the Chiefs in the offseason. I think if they could really establish an upgrade at the offensive line, they could establish that uh, run game to complement an elite defense, which I think is how they're going to have to get to the Super Bowl will be defense and running game. And then the, the complimentary play calling from Andy Reid in terms of, you know, moving the ball around, quick screens and jet sweeps and stuff. But yeah, I think this is a position that they'll be able to address in the offseason, get some more powerful run blockers in there and really feed off of that next year. So we'll, we'll see if they can pull that off. On to the defense. Uh, the D-line solid had, you know, Don Terry Poe had a kind of a disappointing year, but I moved him up. Uh, to an 80. Uh, I think he'll still be a solid nose tackle. And then Chris Jones, uh, one of the rookie of the year candidates, really just dominating uh, the rookie out of Mississippi State. Uh, I think he will continue to grow. And then onto these linebackers who are studs. Justin Houston, I moved up. He was injured all season. Madden moved him down. There's kind of a trend of guys who should be higher that Madden moved down because of injuries, which I don't think is right as we look for this roster to be kind of your use as a franchise to kind of replicate what we'll see ratings wise in Madden 18. Uh, so Justin Houston moves up and then Derek Johnson, I moved him up. Uh, he's always been one of my underrated players that I tend to move up. Um, but he is coming off a serious injury, so we'll see if he can bounce back. Rameek Wilson, I like him a lot. I moved him down just a little bit, though. Just Madden had him at a 79. He did a good job filling in for Derek Johnson. Uh, solid athlete. Actually moved his agility way up. Uh, I've seen him kind of uh, adjust to quick running backs out of the backfield very well. Uh, on to the other outside linebackers, Tom Bahali and D. Ford. This will be interesting to see what happens next year. D. Ford really broke out uh, and dominated, was one of the league leaders in sacks. So we'll, we'll, you know, I think 
he'll end up getting more snaps than Holly if Holly is even with the Chiefs next season. Onto the corners, um, Marcus Peters, a solid corner, tends to be overly aggressive at times, uh, which can you know turn out to be highlight reel interceptions or he'll get burnt. Uh, so he's at an 85, which is a little lower than EA has him. Um, but I definitely think Marcus Peters is going to continue to develop and will turn into an awesome player, top 10 corner in the future. Uh, Philip Gaines had moved up, and then Terrence Mitchell moved way down. I mean, he had he had one good pass deflection as he was playing in, in place of an injured player, and I can't remember which game it was at this point. Um, but, you know, he's not like a, a starting number two corner by any means. He's bounced around the league. So he was at like a 78 overall, which would make him, uh, when all is said and done, like a top 30 corner. So he goes way down. DJ White goes up. He played a lot. Uh, so the secondary has some exciting young guys. Eric Berry, I moved up. I think he is right there with the defensive player of the year for me. Um, so I move him up. And then Ron Parker, a nice solid player. And I like Daniel Sorensen a lot. I believe he's a free agent. So we'll see if maybe he gets the opportunity to start somewhere else. He does play a lot of linebacker too. So it'll all depend on which scheme likes him. Uh, so that's going to conclude the Chiefs. Uh, next up, we got the Colts. Um, thank you for watching, guys, and we'll see you for the next episode.